Hello Twin Flames, this is Victoria and I'm here with your daily energy check. Welcome to my channel, whether you're new or you're coming back. I love having you here guys, I love being here in the big island of Hawaii. And today, the questions we're gonna ask are gonna be, there will be two questions. I do have my oracle deck to begin with, that's not going anywhere. I do have the messages between the twins. But the question that we're going to ask this tarot is going to be um, well, actually one question yes it's going to be what are the twins trying to manifest into their life so it's something that is like the next step that extra something that they want to bring into their life consciously or subconsciously okay so let's get started with a little bit of an oracle message for each of the twins, and the first one is going to go to the Divine Feminine. Still trying to figure out my timing and um, the best opportunity to record the video, so I apologize for doing a couple of them at night. Well, it's not at night really, but you know, it's dark. There's a jungle, beautiful setting just behind me. This is my window slash net because there's no window really <laughs> it's just going outside so yeah it looks so much better during the day i need to get better at this and of course last year i did uh i did some readings on the beach just out in nature and i'm gonna do some more of that again at least over the weekend because during the weekday it's it's getting a little busy a little hectic here so a little harder for me to plan something like that but i do have some ideas so watch out for those um, readings in hawaiian jungle <sighs> so divine feminines have bell and courage take action with passion we are actually talking about it just yesterday if you remember right this is that fiery energy this is the wand energy this is the eight of wands but like times three courageous action forward like you're on top of the world the guy's actually holding the wand so yeah that makes sense what do we have for the masculines so grand feminine so if you're having some doubts whether that specific action needs to be taken and you know what i'm talking about it does this is your confirmation the masculines we have staying focused hold the course this is more about holding space and staying true to your journey like not weighing off you know not um detouring not getting distracted not getting discouraged that's another big one there we go <laughs> um okay let's see what we have as tarot so the question is What are the winds trying to manifest into their life? Or what are they manifesting into their life? Not trying to, but manifesting. Consciously or subconsciously. And we'll start with Divine Feminine. Nine of Cups. Please clarify. Five of Wands. Justice. Okay, we can work with that. And for the masculines, please. What are the masculines manifesting into their life? In the pentacles, I like that. Clarification, five of swords, page of cups. Okay, interesting. Have a nice mixture of elements here. All together, they actually come up to all four. Yeah, we have all four. And justice for the major arcana. Okay, let's see. So feminines are trying to bring about uh, some happiness and the wish. The wish that they've had for a while to finally come true. And there's a lot to unpack here, really. But what I'm always noticing in this deck, in this card, the Nine of Cups is not so joyful, it's not so happy. You know, it's not like they, I'm happy because my wish has come true. No, it's like something is still missing. It seems like I've got everything that i need but i'm still not happy and that's what we have to clarify right 
there is still some people or circumstances pulling on your energy, draining your energy, getting you into that melancholic state, even if you have a lot to be grateful for, to be proud of, to be happy about, right? And <clears throat> on the other hand, the universe is trying to help you balance yourself out and get more clear about what is it that either needs to go or what you need to bring into your life, right? But you need to get grounded and align with that state. For some, I'm hearing it can also mean solving some legal matters. That's the part that is weighing on to you and is causing some sadness here. Something that's the feeling of being incomplete, you know, like in that song. So if if this is this part is relevant to you in terms of the legal matters that need to be solved, just know that it is gonna be solved. It is getting solved. The universe is working on it. It may take a minute, but it will be solved. And it's very important if that's really if you can relate that that's one of the reasons or the reason that you cannot be in the energy of joy, then it's time to get into the energy, to, to give yourself that extra cup. That extra cup to get to the Ten of Cups is self-love. You get it, right? So it's important to be in that state already so that you have that welcoming energy for the balance, for the solution to come in. That's also when you stop giving your energy away to other people who do not appreciate it. Okay, for the masculines, we have Queen of Pentacles. This is great. Um, Five of Swords, Page of Cups here. Yeah, so... <sighs> masculines are trying to manifest comforts of life and success in 3D space, right? And different people, of course, will have different image of what that's about. Apart from the fact that you definitely are supposed to feel comfortable financially but then apart from that it could be a nice place to live being able to support your family uh looking good fashionable stylish whatever it is right maybe having enough money to travel as well right like not just immediately to provide for yourself but for your hobbies for your aspirations the parts that are interesting here that's the that's the part that is blocking it consciously or subconsciously it's the feeling that dms don't deserve it as simple as that look at that page of cups she's also like almost ready to cry she's got the whole pot of, of water here but she's still holding her cup like waiting for somebody to pour in some love right the love is already here right and you definitely have a lot to give and you deserve all that that you're willing or you want to bring in, right? But that's the tricky part of the manifestation journey where you need to get into that state first. And the much this sounds difficult when you don't have what you want to feel like you're on top of the world already, that you've got it, you got it, right? There are different manifestation techniques on how to get there. It's very important to A, stay focused on your goal and not wear off, even if it's not happening exactly the way you want, right? Free yourself, Divine Masculine Torsion, free yourself from expectations around who, when, how, right? Around the details. Focus on how you want to feel when you're in that energy. What does it mean to you? mentally emotionally right get, get into that state and the more you're going to be focusing on the state and not on the circumstances the more you're going to be surrendering to the universe playing out the scenario in the best possible way for you right getting you through the, the plan that is of the highest good that is of the higher benefit probably and that you have it in mind when you stop being that limited into what is it supposed to look like okay messages between the twins let's start from messages from dm to dm what would divine menu divine masculines like to say right now getting tired it's the end of the 
Yay for me, so. I will be sending out my newsletter first thing tomorrow, most likely. So, and that will have all the updates of everything I'm doing. Also, maybe some little updates about my Hawaiian trip and what I'm doing here. So yeah, if you wanna stay up to date, make sure that you sign up for those emails and there's a link in the description box below this reading to be able to do that on my website. Okay, I need more time. Yes, taking care. So you see, that's the, that's usually the masculine, that's, that's the nature of masculine, right? To get into the state first, the king of pentacles, and then be able to come forward towards divine feminine. Happiness is my priority. I think we should see other people. <laughs> I'm coming trust and I want you to choose. Yeah, so Divine Masculine is trying to say, do not worry about me. Do not try to get us into a better place, quote unquote, or manipulate the situation in any way. And I know that you have all the best intentions, but and I do want you to choose what's best for you and to feel brave to bring it into your life. But I know that right now I need to take care of my happiness for myself. I need to be able to become, to feel better in my skin, in my shoes, to walk tall and to know that, you know, I'm actually worth it. It might involve me seeing someone else, trying things out, figuring it out, you know how it works, but at the end, I'm coming, trust. Messages from Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine, okay. We have think before you act, sex, if I ask you to stay, would you leave? My life st started when I met you and this love scares me. Yeah, so <clears throat> Divine Feminine is saying that, you know, although I'm supposed to be the spiritual leader in this, in this, on this journey and uh, to be more aware, conscious and um to lead by example basically there's still a lot that i'm learning i'm still sometimes subjected to temptations and you know basic human needs i'm still getting scared and especially when i don't know what's going to happen for us in the future when i don't see it clearly and my brain is uh starts spinning and i get all this weird or scary or sad thoughts about it but i know that if i asked you to stay you would if i asked you to be to help if i told you that you being around and showing support will make all the difference i know that you would do that i feel wholeheartedly that this is an eternal thing and it's just a matter of time before we can be together and truly enjoy this beautiful otherworldly union. But until then, it's enough for me that we did meet and this inspiration is so powerful. This spark, this fire that I feel, the love that I feel for myself, for the divine, 
for you, for the world, it's intense. And I know that it's gonna be enough to keep me going, to keep me excited, to keep me inspired. Until we're both ready. Okay, I hope this has been good for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love you all and I'll be back with more readings very, very soon.